Hey, what's up y'all? This is Robert here and uh, I'm just going to teach you today really quickly how to uh, clean your camera, clean your sensor, keep your lenses clean and uh, you know, keep your pictures looking uh, sharp and your camera looking just as sharp as you do, all right? So, um, you know, stay tuned and uh, check it out. All right, first off, there's a few things you're gonna need in order to keep your camera clean, and these are things that you should keep on you at all times. They should be in your camera bag so that when you're on the field, you know, if something happens, you can always uh, be ready to take care of it, okay? First is, um, I call this a uh, bulbous boobus. Uh, I really don't know what it's called. I think it's a rubber blower ball or whatever, but I just like bulbous boobus. So this is your bulbous boobus, and it's very important, okay? A um, couple Q-tips, okay? So um, they're not for your ears, you know, if you're on the field and get some earwax. Maybe you could use them, but um, these are um, these are more these aren't really emergency things, but they're good to have around and you know, just to keep your camera clean and take off any dust or dirt or uh, you know uh, dampness or moisture uh, that happens to get on them. Okay, um, this is completely essential. This is a microfiber chamois, and this is used for cleaning your lenses and things. So these are the basic three tools we're going to use. Nothing very uh, spectacular, but you know I'll show you how to do it so you can do it without fear. All right, no fear. Don't have fear, baby. All right. Uh, so first up is cleaning your glass, okay? Cleaning your lenses and, uh, you know, your lens has basically two openings where you can see it, okay? Um, you know, you have the lens and you have the butt of the lens, okay? So this is the part that connects to your camera. This is the part that connects to the world. Um, when you're cleaning it, very simple, okay? You use your microfiber chamois and you simply uh, rub it in circles. But before you do, you want to make sure there's no grains of dust or, or, or big grains of sand on there, okay? Now you can use your bulbous boobus right here and just and you make sure that you get any big dust off so that when you do, you're not making circles of uh, scratches onto your lens, okay? So you do this right here. If, if it seems that you can't get something off and there's a little, you know, some nagging things on there, what you do is you just simply use your breath, okay? Just go, and there's a little bit of moisture in your breath and you just rub in circles. And you don't want to do it all too hard, but you just put a little bit of pressure and you just rub it in circles and that should get everything off of there. Now your lens is clean. That simple, okay? So a little bit of bulbous, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, okay? So it should be all clean. Uh, when you do the back, you don't want to put any moisture on it because of these, um, these uh, little connectors here that connect to your camera, okay? So what you want to do is you can just clean the inside of that lens right there and in circles like that. Maybe blow it a little with this. And you can clean your connectors with a Q-tip and you can just run it across your connectors, okay? And, and that'll keep dirt from building up on them. Other than that, you don't want to put moisture on there and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to mess up your, your lens connectors because this is how your lens talks with your camera and they communicate and they help you get things done, okay? So, there you go. That's how you clean a lens. All right, class. Uh, next up is uh, how to clean uh, your camera body, okay? Uh, your camera body is very simple to clean. That's where these things come in handy, okay? Uh, you don't need to use a microfiber chamois. You're not going to scratch any lens elements and things like that, okay? Now, basically, you know, you just get these and you clean in the around the edges and around your buttons and where your hands go, and you can just clean it like that, okay? You can you can use your microfiber chamois if you like and do this. And I always always whip that around when I'm done just to get any dust off of it. That's uh that seems to be bothering it, okay? Um, you can use your microfiber chamois, a little bit of breath on the back, okay, where your, um, where your screen is, okay? That's a good, a good way to clean it off. And you just rub it in circles and maybe back and forth, whatever. Inside your eyepiece, uh, same thing. If, if you haven't noticed, we're using our breath a lot, okay? So you just use your breath. Make sure you, I don't know, you don't want to be all stinky breath. But, um, you know, it's all good. Just brush your teeth in the morning, afternoon, evening, you'll be fine, all right? Um, and then just go ahead and, you know, you just rub inside of here. I like to get deep in the corners and make sure that I get everything with my Q-tip here. So I just use a Q-tip to get in there and then around the edges and just basically in the crevices and cracks so you look sharp when you're out, okay? Um, make sure that you don't get any dust or anything in, in any of these components. So this is the cameras are weather sealed and also, you know, they're, uh, they're dust sealed and things like that. But you still want to make sure you just, if you go to the beach... If you go to the beach or you're driving in a car off road and all this dust comes in, you didn't realize it and you're scared about your camera, just make sure when you get to where you're going, you just you just blow it off where the buttons are in between any crevices, moving parts, and you make sure that you get it out like that. Use your uh, Q-tip to get out any other remaining pieces and you're fine, okay? Um, and that's how you know you keep your camera looking sharp, okay? All right, and uh, lastly, what we're going to talk about is cleaning your um, your image sensor. Okay, so you might notice if you uh, if you're taking pictures and you're getting these little um, these little dots on your pictures, you're seeing these little gray spots, or in the, they especially appear in the sky. So if you want to see if you have anything on your sensor, just point your camera up into the blue sky, get a proper exposure, and shoot. 
and in the blue sky for some reason that's when your little dust shows up okay so you might be thinking you're gonna get this beautiful shot of you know a landscape and whatnot and it looks like there's always little gray birds in the sky those are dust okay so your little dust bunnies on your on your uh, they're on your sensor okay they might be on your lens and if you clean your lens and you put it back on and you check and they're gone good if you they're not gone then you have to clean your sensor okay and this can get a little scary you know this is something that you know I, you know I admit it I was scared at first I was scared I promise but you know, you get over that and you, you got to do it and you got to do it to make sure your thing is clean. This, ba-boom, the bulbous boobus, okay? Um, no breath, okay? There's some things that we're going to talk about, okay? You don't breathe onto your sensor. Um, you don't blow it with a canned air because you could ruin it. Uh, when you put your sensor in, you don't put it into your camera. You leave it on the outside. So I'll show you how it's done, but for, right off the bat, those are some things that, you know, if you pause here and you're going to go on and try and do it without checking out the rest of the video, do not blow into it okay do not use a power sprayer or uh you know um uh, canned air or anything like that don't do that and don't huff it either okay um you know just uh make sure that you do it like this okay on your camera there's going to be a sensor cleaning uh mode in your menu so if you just go menu and oh i gotta turn my camera on and that's another thing make sure your camera's on make sure you have full battery okay make sure your battery is going to be good enough to so because what's going to happen is your mirror is going to lock up and then you're going to be able to clean it, okay? So you're going to make sure you have enough battery that it doesn't cut out in the middle of you cleaning and shut that mirror. And if you have anything in there, if you happen to have your uh, sprayer, your bulbous boobus a little bit in there, if that mirror hits it, it'll break it. So you don't want to do that, okay? It'll break the mirror. It won't break the bulbous. You don't need to worry about that. Um, these things are about 10 bucks, so, you know, no big deal. These things, $20, $2,500, something like that, okay? So um, we're going to go to, in the menu, there's a sensor cleaning... Uh, sensor cleaning. Click it. And it's going to say, turn off the camera after sensor cleaning. And it's going to give you a menu that says, do you want a sensor clean? Yes. Open it up. If you look inside there, when I click OK, I clicked OK. Oh, there it goes. So there's the sensor right there. If there's dust on it, there's dust in it. And when you do this, you want to make sure that you hold your camera um, sturdy and you want to hold it so that it's facing down. OK. And when you blow, you blow up into the camera because you want the dust to go down out of there okay you want to blow the dust loose and let it drop out of your camera you don't want to blow it and have it settle at the bottom then when you turn your camera it's going to move okay and you just make sure you get air going in there and you get the air going to the corners of it and you get everything going then when you're all done you turn it off it closes up and it's all good okay so basically you want to have your you want to have your camera open and you spray inside of it with the with the air and that's how you clean the inside of your sensor okay if you check it and sh point it back at this guy and you shoot and the dust isn't gone try it again if you do it again and it's not there you have to take it to get it cleaned okay uh, there's other ways to clean it there they sell kits where you can rub the sensor i don't touch my sensor okay i'd rather take it to a canon certified place because if they jack it up they're responsible okay if you jack it up you're responsible so um i don't know the kits are only like 12 dollars, 13 dollars. i don't mess with them okay i take them to my nearest camera shop and go to someone who's certified to clean it and have them clean it. Go to the pro who knows, okay? Just like you want the people to go to you to, for pictures, you go to the pros for cleaning the camera, okay? So uh, there you go. That's how you clean your camera. That's how you keep it looking sharp. That's how you uh, keep your pictures looking sharp and how you stay on top of the game, playa. I hope you learned a lot from this episode and uh, you know, there's a lot more to learn. And uh, if you found this helpful, you might want to go ahead and get my DVDs. Follow the links I provide in the uh, info section. Um, you know, thumbs up and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I'll see you around next time. All right. Keep learning. Keep shooting. Peace.